Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, here I have another iPhone 4. We are doing more videos on the iPhone 4, but this is the last video I think about the iPhone 4. Because today, we're completing the saga on the downgrades of the iPhone 4. So, I downgraded the iPhone 4 3.1, the normal 16GB or the 32GB iPhone 4. I downgraded the CDMA model, and the only one that hasn't been downgraded is this guys. Bam, the 8GB iPhone 4, or as we like to call it, the 8GB iPhone 4 3.2 Rev A. Now there is a downgrade for the iPhone 4 3.2 back in the days, that is with the geek grade, but I found a new tool that will downgrade this phone back to iOS 6. So unfortunately, uh, we only can downgrade to iOS 6, but without any further ado, I'm going to show you guys on how to lay downgrade. Alright guys, so the tools that we use today is called Sundown. Now, as you can see from the screen capture, yes, we have now a downgrade tool that is working with Windows. So we have now Mac, we have Linux, and now we are on Windows. So all three operating systems are getting some love. So, Sundown is basically a tool that makes us able to create our custom uh, IPSW that we can restore on iTunes. So, we're gonna go ahead and download Sundown right here. Next tool that we're going to use is iWrap. Now iWrap will allow us to enter custom phone DFU. So you know you guys back in the days remember iWrap. Go ahead and download that so we can get on into our phone DFU mode. Now we need the main sorcery itself. The last thing that we need is the IPSW. Okay, so we're we'll going to go to iPhone and scroll down till we see there the iPhone 4 GSM slash 2012 because we are restoring a 3.2 iPhone 4. Now, we need two IPSW actually, one is iOS 6.0 because we need that base iOS 6.0 later on. Let's go ahead and download that. Now, the download button in, in IPSW, I mean, does not work. Go ahead and just click the copy link to clipboard and just paste it to your address bar and it should download like so. Okay, the next IPSW that we need, of course, is the IPSW that you want. Now, they are 3.2 iPhone 4 uh, original iOS is actually iOS 6, so there's only iOS 6 and iOS 7, so just pick one that you like to use, okay? All right, now once you downloaded all those three files, we're going to extract our Sundown master file here. Once you extract that, go ahead and open up the version 1.1 because that's the only version that is working. You open it up and as you can see, bam, shabam, bam, a nice user interface. All right, now we'll go ahead and click on select IPSW here and we're going to find the IPSW that we actually want to restore. All right, so here I am picking my 6.2. All right, it does say there you're successfully selecting 6.2. Now we have to check the tethered downgrade because it just does not work on untethered, guys. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work like that. All right, then we'll click on create IPSW to build our custom iOS 6 IPSW. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and extract our iWrap zip file, and then we're gonna open up iWrap to put our phone in DFE mode, right? Now we're gonna open up iPhone 4 here, and you're gonna follow along with the direction, right? You press power and home button for 10 seconds, and let go of the home button for 10 seconds, then your phone will automatically go to pawn DFE mode. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and open up iTunes. Now I forgot to tell you guys that we need iTunes version 11.0. 11.0 is because right there I have 11.0 point blah 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 because that is the only version of iTunes that works to restore a custom IPSW here, right? So shift restore, find the custom IPSW. There you go, mine's right there. Just open that bad boy up and wait for your phone to restore to the custom IPSW that you picked. And bam, ladies and gentlemen, our phone is now at recovery mode. So what should we do to fix this issue? Well, 
we're gonna go ahead and grab our iPhone here and go to press on power for 10 seconds and both together with the home button for 10 seconds okay and then we'll let go until we see the uh, recovery mode logo gone we will move our fingers from the power button and keep holding the home button till we can go to DFU mode go to your red snow archive file and extract it and go to the set the folder and open up mr red snow yes our old friend mr red snow as you can see there our phone is detected in dfu mode we hit on extras here and i'm gonna click on select ipsw and this is where that 6.0 ipsw is needed to boot our phone and then we hit just boot and now our phone will boot just fine so this is what you call a tether downgrade so every time your phone shuts off or you accidentally turn off your phone the battery yes you know is died you need to do this with red snow every time all right so this is what you call a tether downgrade you hit select ipsw you just boot and then that's how you actually will boot the phone so this means that every time your phone shuts off or the battery is completely flat you have to go to red snow and boot the phone like this every single time All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the setup screen of iOS 6.1.2. I'm going to set it up real quick here. Oh. oh, oh, what's happening here, guys? Activation error. Oh, no. I'm going to try to put a SIM card here. Thank God this is, doesn't show like this when I downgrade the CDMA iPhone 4 because that thing has no uh, SIM card slot, so I don't know how to do. Let's see if this will work. I put a non-activated SIM card. The SIM card has already been expired a while ago. Oh boy, could not activate iPhone. Can we activate? Activation error. Activation request cannot be completed. What is happening? Let me try another internet here. What is happening? I never had these issues before. Okay. Ah, there you go. I just need another Wi-Fi. All right, all right. Let's just set, go to the setup again here. That's weird because I rarely have those kind of errors uh, every time I downgrade this iPhone 4, especially. I mean, will you imagine what happened if it, I, if that happened with the CDA main one? Like I said, there would be no SIM card. Anywho, we finally able to activate the phone, and now let's set up iOS 6 here in three, two, one. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, we successfully yet downgraded another iPhone 4. Might be the last one, maybe yes, maybe no. The 8 gigabyte 3.2 iPhone 4 to iOS 6 because that is the last, the only compatible version of the 3.2 8 gigabyte iPhone 4 is iOS 6 or iOS 7. As you can see here, 6.1.2. Like I said, you guys can download it to any version that you want but you still need those two IPSW. All right, the iOS 6.01, so you guys can boot with Red Snow, and the other one is the only one that you like. In fact, if you guys want to downgrade to iOS 6.0, well, you only need one firmware, so that's good for you. Now, you guys can jailbreak. I think you guys can use Red Snow, but every time uh, Red Snow reboots your phone, it will, of course, boot back into the recovery mode, so all you have to do is, of course, boot the phone back using the just boot method and jailbreak should work using red snow right i want to show you guys but unfortunately this is not my iphone 4 this is my friend's phone and once this video is done i will restore this phone back to ios 7 and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like normal because with geek uh, you guys can easily restore back to ios 7 what i choose is fine but as you can see here ios 6 the good old ios 6 and finally we are now able to download all iphone 4 version for the 3.1 the 3.2 and the 3.3 right so the gsm 16 gigabyte 32 gigabyte the 8 gigabyte and the cdme model we are now have all the download possibility there is amazing huh so thank you guys for watching this video comment like subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next video peace